There's a putty cat. There's a putty cat. Hello, Mr. Putty Cat. Where'd you come from? Oh, Mr. Putty Cat. Oh, let me love you. Do you want to move into our flat? We need a pet. Come on, Mr. Putty Cat. Come on. Well, good morning, and welcome to another day of the video diary. Can I get away with the fact that this is morning? I think I can just about get away with that. Well, this is a diary, so I guess I'm just filling you in at the end of the day, aren't I? Today has been a stressful day. I'm not going to lie, it's been it's been quite stressful, especially this morning. Um, yeah, we... <laughs> what? We hadn't had a reply from our... Um, should we start from there? Is that a good place to start? Hiccup. We hadn't had a reply from our uh, coursework group task thing. I'm going to keep hiccuping, I'm sorry. Um, we hadn't had a reply from them. So that was stressful. He woke up and then, then there was that. And then there was um, the stress from yesterday was still kicking in. And it was basically a stressful start. And I'd started programming. I still haven't thought of a, thought of a, um, a solution to the problem I'm having with my programming. And it's, it's a relatively stressful thing. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, so I woke up and it was a bit like go, 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 go. I got like the video uploaded, had breakfast and then did a bit of thinking. I just seemed to like, just sit there and think, trying to think of a solution for programming. Uh, then I went to my decision maths lecture at nine o'clock, um, nailed some decision maths, because decision maths is cool. We got our first coursework grade back, and I got 90%, which is pretty good. 70% is, I think it's either a two one or a first. I think it's a two one, but I, but Lovely has think thinks that seventy percent is a first, just a low first. So that's pretty cool. Why are so many people moving around? It's it's half past. I'm gonna watch on. Jesus Christ! I feel naked. It's about half past one in the well, half past twelve in the at night. Why? Why? Oh, this is exciting stuff. Oh, I'll come back to you in a bit. Yeah. Just struck gold. This is exciting. Ah. Okay, I've named the. This makes no sense to you, does it? I haven't even filled you in. I'm taking out two books. Two books that I thought I'd never ever have to take out ever again. Well, ever again. Two topics. Let me fill you in on the day, shall I? Well, I am a tired, tired boy, so let's try and make this comprehensible, shall we? Um, yeah, so this morning it was stressful. Was that, was that what I was talking about? Because we had to organise blah, 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 blah. And the, e the people I emailed yesterday didn't reply to me, so I rung them up after my lecture um, because I couldn't concentrate on programming while that stress was looming over me. And since no one else was making a move on it, I thought I'd take the initiative. And I rang them up and they seemed really enthusiastic about it. They were like, yeah, yeah, we can do that, blah, 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 blah. I just have to ring my manager, uh, talk to my manager and stuff, and then I'll get back to you later today. And I was like, yeah, that's perfect. Just the sooner you can get back to me, the sooner as possible. They were even okay with doing it this week. He thought he hadn't spoke to his manager yet. <clears throat> However, he hasn't rung me back. So I'm gonna have to ring again tomorrow, chase it up. Ugh, bit stressful. Um, we have to hand in a draft of a system's requirement for their system. Um, and if we haven't spoken to them, or we don't technically have a company that will allow us to do it, it's gonna be pretty hard to do that. All thanks to that other company that dropped out on us at the last minute. Yippee. Else, though, what else has happened? I, I've been struggling with my programming. Um, I've started the second uh, program, which is the reverse po reverse Polish algorithm. And I just can't be bothered to do it because it's boring. And the reason it's boring is because it's not exciting. Because I'm programming Mastermind or attempting to program Mastermind, whichever way you want to look at it. Um, but like, the buses still run at like two o'clock in the morning. It is it's ten past two o'clock in the morning, and there's there's four people on it. Incredible. Okay, so here's, I'm trying to think of a method to get this mastermind done with. And that's the reason I can't really nail down the S, the reverse Polish calculator. Um, and I can nail it down, I just can't be bothered. I've been really struggling with the motivation recently, um, which isn't good, but I'm going to nail that tomorrow. So, hiccup, motivation, here I come. Um, 
so basically I've been kind of slacking today. I wrote out all of my notes, I'm fully caught up lecture notes wise, but otherwise programming and stuff, it's a bit poor. It's a bit poor. So, I kind of slacked, I, massively. Um, I played a bit of Assassin's Creed during the day, recorded some Portal gameplay, and then cooked dinner, which was pizza, which was not filling enough at all. And then, um, basically rang Lovely, me and Lovely, we played a couple of games of Mastermind, trying to figure out like a process, what kind of logical process do you go through when you're trying to figure out what to go next, because the thing I'm stuck with on Mastermind is trying to figure out uh, an algorithm that will allow a computer to artificially guess correctly, often, the code. Uh, basically, I've got to get a program that mimics intelligence in order to look like it's getting closer and closer and closer to getting the correct code. Basically, a computer that plays a bit like a human. It doesn't have to be perfect, but quite frankly, I want an infallible one. I want as many marks as possible for this. Um, yeah, because I'm doing well in my coursework. My programming coursework so far have all been 100%. My decision maths, which came back today, came back as 90%, um, which I lost half a mark on something apparently somehow, which is a bit, a bit annoying. But so I want it to be perfect. I want it to be infallible, um, and I couldn't find an algorithm for it. So then after speaking to Lovely, spoke to Lovely for a bit longer, planned like the weekend because in three sleeps she's coming down to me and for me three sleeps is basically like hard, one and a half of normal people's sleeps so one and a half sleeps. After that I played the Xbox with Sean. My god I miss Sean's voice. That's really weird. I know but even though I've been watching his gameplay videos as well that definitely makes no sense. But yeah we played some Call of Duty and it was jolly good fun. I then came out after hiding away from everyone and being very antisocial all evening and everyone else was going to bed. So I decided the best cause of action or response, so to speak, um, for my inability to find an algorithm is to go and look for one. Instead of trying to, trying to invent one myself, which is what I was doing, trying to like notice a pattern. Um, which I've done many times before. I've looked. At, I've went to the library before to look for artificial intelligence books, and the kind of things they churn out are stuff like chess algorithms that calculate when something's checkmate. That's artificial intelligence. When a program figures out if something is a checkmate or not in chess, I've done that before. I've also programmed um, lots and crosses by noticing patterns, and I made a computer that would never lose. So I kind of was like, I don't want to look at someone else's algorithm. I want to find my own. I'm very much that way inclined, and it's my downfall. Since I got there, and then after relatively small amounts of amounts of looking, I found myself a name of someone who's figured this out. Who's figured out that for a standard mastermind board, I'm not sure for how big mine is, which is an 8x8, they are able to guarantee you an answer in five moves. It did not take me long to find that name. And then after that, it took me a while to figure out like what he actually did, go through the algorithm, find out what he did. Um, and it turns out I've done it before in further maths. We've touched that kind of stuff. Very briefly, we've touched it. And it's an amazing algorithm. Essentially, what you do is you find it, you then go, you, you, you get one and you get a specific starting point. I'm not gonna tell you what, it's a surprise. You get a specific starting point, you then throw it into, um, the program, see what it churns out, and then whatever its answers are, you then churn in, you then input every single one of the 40,000 different possibilities. It's a bit, it's a bit processor intensive, but don't worry about that, it doesn't have to be efficient. You then chuck in all of those, all of the ones that don't come up with the same results, delete them. You don't need those crap, them things anymore. And then what you do is you then select from that next list. Um, from the remaining list, you then select a certain one to then repeat the thing and within five you will get the right answer, which is mind blowing. The problem is finding out, I could do that just now, just go in there, program it. I'm not sure how efficient it will be. Uh, technically the code's already there, all I need to do is call it in specific orders and stuff and send different variables and things. Um, but it's all done, it's all ready. Um, the only problem is finding out what to do next once you've got the secondary list. It's finding out which one to do, and to do that you've basically got to delve into my good old friend decision maths and figure out which is the best possible algorithm. And you essentially need to use a mini-max algorithm from linear programming 
And since I'm a little bit rusty on line linear programming, because I definitely paid attention, um, well, that's actually the module I did worse in, um, I got myself two books from the library. Two books I never considered I'd ever take out. One of which is it's an old one. It's called Theory of Games and Linear Programming. And look at this beast. Look, look at that. Look, what a what a boss. Look at this freedom to do, baby. And then linear programming, algorithms and applications. Which basically these two are just to remind me exactly of how to do the mini Max. And I believe I have my own maths notes from last year on me. Well, not like currently on me, but boom. I knew there was a reason for the bringing these damn folders. <gasps> oh man, how much I miss math. Further pure two, bring the pain. Man, just looking through this now, just how much I miss this old. Oh, just flick to the uh, decision section. Don't miss this at all. Good job this bit isn't the bit that I will ever need for programming. Ah, I just remembered the main problem I had with maths was the inability to to kind of like write notes in any way, shape or form. So uh, it's, it's pretty useful, this lot. Oh, god damn it. Oh, well, no, what's that? No. If you ask me anything about network flows, I can do them. Shit! I was just, go to bed, just about to go to bed then without saying goodbye to you. Um, I've nailed down an algorithm that should be able to generate it. I've got a good starting point. I don't think it's perfect. I don't think it's the same algorithm that I've read about, this magical five-move algorithm. Um, I've got to be able to figure out how to...